guys, welcome to Merlin's Ears. We're here today at Warwick Castle. Our main reason to come today is to see the new Birds of Prey show, which is the Falconer's Quest. Um, it's the new show that started just a couple of weeks ago, and they're advertising it as um, one of the biggest bird shows in the UK, I believe, and there's like 70 Birds of Prey that are going to be taking part. You can see the arena just behind me here. The first show isn't until 12.30, so we're going to go and explore the castle first, and then we'll come back and get a good, sh uh, good spot for the show. Every visit to Warwick Castle starts with the Horrible Histories Maze. Okay, next stop is going to be the Time Tower, which is one of Harry's favourite things to do here at Warwick Castle. It's kind of like just like a journey through the ages, gives you a bit of history about the castle itself. I laid the foundations of Warwick Castle over a thousand years ago. In 1066, I, William, Duke of Normandy, travelled to England. I destroyed the Anglo-Saxons at the Battle of Hastings. I commanded that the Morton Bailey Castle be built at Warwick, in case I needed to retreat. <laughs> Harry's just about to have a go at one of the um, additional 
activities here at Warwick Castle, which is the jousting. It's £5 per person. Uh, you do not get any Merlin Pass discount on that. Uh, so I'm just going to flip the camera around and you'll see how we have a go at jousting. Now, this is Jousting Academy, but before we get to jousting, every knight needs to know how to use a sword, doesn't he? That's what we're going to do first. Now, in battle, this man here is your enemy. He's got a sword in one hand and a shield in the other. And he's going to come charge and get you like this, and we need to stop him. One, two, three, big swing! Very nice indeed. Let me see another one. One more time. Very nice, you got the other side as well, excellent, that was going to be my next point. Now what we're going to do is one big chop right to that head for me, chop that head off. One, two, three! One, two, three, chop those arms off, keep chopping the arms, keep chopping the arms, very good. He's trying to run away, Harry, chop those legs off! That's it, keep swinging, keep swinging! Now I'm sure you know what you're going to do here, you're going to charge at these men, and aim for that shield. The lance is very good for getting rid of shields and defences, you're going to charge, use the very tip of your lance, him in the shield, and run all the way to the end so he can get you in the back. So when you're charging at this man, I want to hear some noise. You can shout charge, you can shout die, you can shout anything you want, just nice and loud for me. One, two, three, charge! Very good, and he just missed you as well. Excellent work, man. Now, on that handle again for me, but this time you're going to hold it down to the ground like this. Very good, you passed all the tests, congratulations. You're now going to be knighted. So by the power invested in me, by the Earl of Warwick, I now dub thee the leader of the army, the knight, of the realm and guardian of the Privy Council. You are now to be known as Sir Harry. And everyone has to call you Sir Harry for the rest of the day. <laughs> and if they don't, you come and talk with me and we'll throw him in the dungeon. Give me a high five, sir. Okay, okay, so we've got our spot for the Falconers Quest Show. We had to get here about an hour and a half in advance to make sure we got a really good spot. We're front and centre, so we should have a really good view. Uh, one of the members of staff has just walked past and said to make sure we remain seated during the show because they're going to be flying the fastest bird in the world right over our heads. So hopefully we'll get some really good footage of that. Uh, just another 10 minutes and then the show will start. I, Thomas de Beecham, 11th Earl of Warwick, welcome you. In this year of 1356, I have returned victorious from the war in France. I could tell you of my adventures there, but today I wish to tell you of someone else's adventure, or rather a quest, that helped me rebuild Warwick Castle. I will tell you now of the Falconer's Quest. On my return from France, I saw a great need to replenish my collection of falcons, for I had taken many birds to war, and alas, few had returned. I will go on a quest to bring to Warwick a collection of birds that will be the envy of a king. Hobby had grown up on the River Avon, and it was from his boat that he had often watched at night some very beautiful birds fly silently above the fields, hunting for prey. They were barn owls. Barn owls bring good fortune. And Hobby wanted to bring those birds to the castle, as he believed they would bring him luck on his quest. Magnificent bird are transfixed. Dramatic dark brown feathers, 
white wings, and a blazing yellow beak and talons. The Stella's Eagle, one of the largest and one of the toughest eagles in the world. This is the falcon that royalty will bow down to. It is the falcon of princes. This bird must rely on speed. When she tucks in her wings, she shoots towards Earth to become the fastest bird in the world, the peregrine. <laughs> Hobby was amused. This intriguing bird had been overcome by shyness. <laughs> Hobby had to learn fast and be Ooh, fast. Go. The peregrine has the lightness and speed of a loosed arrow. Their attack will start high in the sky. Their deadly juice, catching them on the wing. They strike a target with a single deadly blow. Such speed can kill the prey A ruthless killer who is totally focused on the hunt. It was not long before the neck walls of the sky. They were the Harris Hawks. Hobby found the Harris Hawks to be clever and great fun. He understood why they were so popular in sport and hunting. Hobby learned that they lived and hunted as a family with a strict hierarchy and he saw that the ruler of the family was a female. The young males will hunt, running on the ground. The females will deliver them. Until one day, he saw an unbelievable sight. It was an Andean condor. Legend said this was the biggest flying bird in the world. This characterful bird was a little wary of Hobby. A lamagaya, or a bone-eating vulture. Scouring the land for carcasses and most importantly, bones. I heard that. This was the bald eagle. To Hobby, this bird conveyed power and freedom. A dominant and forceful bird that will face any kind of threat and never hold back. that he also wished to see the skies above the castle fall once more with birds of prey. Both Hobby and I were rewarded.
skies above Warwick were full of many magnificent birds of prey. A sight that would indeed be the envy of the king. Hobby had fulfilled the Falconer's quest. As you look at the sky, let your imagination soar. We have one world, one sky, and one future. We must respect and cherish these magnificent birds. We hope you have enjoyed the Falconer's Quest. Until we meet again, my friends. Until then, farewell. It's a very, very busy day at Warwick Castle. Look at the queue for ice cream. And the queue for the loos is twice as long. Another example of how busy it is today, they're only letting people up to the guys' tower in groups of 20, and that is the queue that goes all the way around there. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here so we just made it to the top of Guy's Tower, which is 500 steps, and not for the faint-hearted. I'm absolutely exhausted. Amazing views though, so I'll put the footage in here. It's a long way down. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We're meant to be. Outdoor, forever free. So we've finished for the day now. It's just gone two o'clock. Uh, we got everything done we wanted to do. We've been up Guy's Tower. Uh, we've had a look in the Great Hall, seen the New Birds of Prey show, had an ice cream. Uh, it's a really good day. Very, very busy and very, very hot today. Um, one thing I'd noticed as well about the Birds of Prey show, there's no shade there whatsoever. So if you're coming on a sunny day, bring a brolly or just make sure you're prepared with a hat and a lot of sun cream. Drink plenty of water. Because like I say, it was so, so hot. Um, yeah, we're done for the day now. I've had a fantastic time. Um, thank you for joining us on this adventure and we'll see you again soon. Bye!